Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy. <laughs> okay. So today is a special day. Okay? So today I bring you acronym of the day number 2. All right? So remember, these are acronyms I call N-word acronyms. That means it's not personalized for one person to know it, okay? Anybody that looks at the word, the answer is in the word. That's why it's called N-word. If you focus on the word itself, you could get the answer, okay? So today, we're going to learn how to remember the preferred prophylaxis regimen for Mycobacterium avium complex, also known as MAC, infections and in HIV and or AIDS patients. Well, you can't have HIV and AIDS, but you know what I mean. So just a little brief introduction from the beginning. So Mycobacterium is a type of bacteria that's related to tuberculosis. And it's usually found in soil or water or even food. And majority of people have it in your body. But when you have a strong immune system, like majority of us, it doesn't cause any problems. Now, when you have a weakened immune system, like we see in patients with HIV or AIDS, for example, where their CD4 count is less than 50 cells, then they usually require some prophylaxis. If not, it could lead to lung disease or disseminated infections that can occur in different parts of your body and also lymphadenitis, inflammation of your lymph nodes. Now, prophylaxis regimen requires patients to have CD4 count less than 50, like I mentioned earlier. And usually the number one recommend regimen is azithromycin, simply because it has less drug interactions and it's easy to dose, right, weekly, compared to the clarithromycin, which is an alternative. So usually the azithromycin is preferred, but these two are the ones that you will commonly see in practice. Now, how to remember that you use azithromycin or clarithromycin as prophylaxis in patients with CD4 count less than 50? Well, MAC has the letters A and C in it, right? A and C. The A is for azithromycin. The C is for clarithromycin. Okay? And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. That's the easiest way to remember the preferred regimens for MAC prophylaxis by just looking at the word itself, MAC. Okay, azithromycin, clarithromycin. And this is what we call in word acronyms. I'm going to bring you more of these acronyms. I have plenty of them I'm going to share with you. And as long as you memorize these acronyms once in a while, you're going to remember it anytime it comes up in a, on an exam or whenever. You will never forget these because it's so easy. The answer is literally in the word. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, feedback. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. I mean, I have plenty of topics that I plan on recording for you guys. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. Remember, always keep this in mind. I'm here for you guys. Okay? So thank you and have a wonderful night. Bye.